Hello guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply live wallpaper in Windows 11 without any app. And yes, you get that right. So stick around and watch the entire video because I'm going to share with you three easy options that you can use. And the best one, of course, you will see it. Now let's jump right in. So guys, the first way that you can easily do this is to simply right click on your Windows icon in your taskbar and just simply go to settings, right? And I'm going to show you how you can use the dynamic team or spotlight feature in Windows to quickly do this. Now, once you're in settings, just simply click on personalization right here. And from here, you want to click in background. Now, under this background section, guys, you want to go ahead and switch this from pictures and you can just turn this to windows spotlight now once you do that windows is going to change your pictures automatically for you and this will feel alive right so you'll notice that from time to time those images are going to change within your windows wallpaper here as you can see the windows background here these are going to change from time to time make you feel alive and this is the first way right now the second option that i'm about to share with you guys is a slightly similar but this is for a lock screen so back in personalization, instead you want to go ahead and scroll down and go to lock screen. And this is for your lock screen in Windows and you would do the same. Instead of have an image there, you can switch this to either slideshow or you can switch this to the spotlight, right? And I also wanted to mention that you can also do the same thing for the background as well. If you have images, you can also set slideshow. So if you have, for example, a phone on your computer, you can choose the slideshow option and you can simply click on browse and just find that folder with all of those images and you can set that as your wallpaper or your live wallpaper. And this is gonna change your images pretty frequently. That's gonna feel alive and make your system don't just have one wallpaper right here. So you can use the, slide, the slideshow option. Now to the spotlight option, the Windows Spotlight, it's quite similar. This is how it works. You will notice that it will change the images from time to time there within your lock screen. And as you can see right here, it says weathers and more. You can choose if you want to have the home or you can have the weathers here. This is just some extra stuff that you can add there on it. But this is what you can easily do, guys. So let's move on to the sweetest one of all and this is the most amazing one that you can easily do if you've heard about lively wallpaper then you know that it's a third-party application that you need to install on windows and as the title of this video says without using any third-party application so we will not use lively wallpaper i'm going to share with you a workaround that allows you to do this within windows no guys the third option that i want to share with you is if you're currently running windows 11 25 h2 right and you can go ahead and check your system here under windows scroll down and you can go to about and if you're currently running the latest version of windows 11 which is the 25 h2 you can easily go ahead and use the video option or gif option in windows 11 to, for your backgrounds so all you'll have to do guys is if you have like a video and you want to convert it to a gif you can use a website to easily convert your videos to gif so one of the website that i actually use is a website called free convert you can use free convert and that basically allows you to upload any video that you have and you can easily convert it to a gift so if i have a video right here i can click on that video and i can simply go ahead and choose that i want to convert it to a gift you can choose the output format you have multiple so you can go ahead and find gift in it and you can easily convert your videos to a gif so and if you're not able to find gif right here by the, using the drop down or you search for it and you're not finding it just simply use the top here guys if you go to convert at the top you will see video to gif you can select that and then you can upload your file again and basically you know convert videos to gif right so just simply convert there and it's going to start converting your video once that is done you can download it Another option that I actually use, which I'm going to just pull over another window here so that you can see it, is if you have a Canva account, you can go ahead and you can even upload your videos to Canva. As you can see, just drag the video there and you can have the video play, right? So this is the video within Canva and you can just simply go ahead and click on share at the top and just simply click and download 
and just change the file type to a GIF, right? You can switch that to a GIF and you can easily go ahead and download it as a GIF once you have that. So this is how you can easily use Canva. And that's if you don't want to actually use the option to download the videos itself and upload them on your pc but if you're using 25 h2 as i mentioned before you can just simply go to personalize click on the background here guys and here you want to ensure that you select the pictures and then once you click and browse you'll be able to see the video options within your computer here so you can find a video and you can set the video directly as a background within windows so guys these are the three options that i have for you here as i mentioned before you can easily go ahead and use the spotlight option to basically change your background that's going to make it feel alive you can use the slideshow option as well right or if you're going to change it for for example your lock screen you can go ahead and use the similar options as i showed you you can use a slideshow option as i share with you or you can use the spotlight and that's if you're using for example a lower version of windows or if you're using 25h2 you can simply use the picture option and you will still be able to select videos from your pc as well and in the worst case if you're not able to use the video option just simply convert your videos to a gif it will detect and you can select GIF as well by simply using the picture option. Go ahead and try out these features, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any question. I hope that you're able to get this done without any third party application. And if you're still struggling, then guess what? You can always use Lively Wallpaper, which is not a bad option as well that you can install on your PC. With that said, thank you guys for watching and best of luck and see you in the next video.